Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Chartreuse Leprechaun. My name is Mark, your host, and it's time for another episode of Hard Space Shipbreaker. Last time was, I can only describe it as uneventful. The Leprechaun didn't really do much and everything went pretty smooth and easy and that scares me. All I can think about is what Rhodes and the Leprechaun may be plotting. We ended last time salvaging another gecko. We didn't get any Lynx tokens, so uh, let's go see what they may have to tell us. And, uh, oh, what did we get? Oh, a poster. I forgot we got posters. Yeah. Let's go see what they have waiting for us. Nothing. Perfect. Well, let's, uh, I don't think I've got any messages. Any messages? I didn't think so. Let's go to work. Just go straight back into the yard. Hey, we had something that was apparently was headed in there to uh, burn up. Nice. Uh, top up on tethers. And let's uh, get back to work. Man, nobody's saying anything. Nobody's talking on the comms. Nothing. This is... This is really strange. I wonder what the deal is. Anything in there? No. So we can just chuck that to the processor. Yeah. Like it. Like it. That takes care of that. Did we get the... So we didn't get that out of there. No. Like that. There we go. There we go. Processing valuable objects. Credits awarded. On down you go. There we go. And then, yep, cockpit stuff still there. That's what I thought. Oh yeah, where's that thing? Yep. That needs to go in there. Off you go, thank you. And then that comes out eventually. Yep, there it is. We'll chuck that down there. And what is that? That goes in the furnace. Well, I don't really care about the furnace right now. I was more concerned with more furnace stuff. Okay, we got, yeah. All that goes to the processor. Sweet! Gonna use up all their tethers doing it this way, but you know what? I don't, fr I frankly don't care. I want to get this stuff the heck out of Dodge. Get it out of our way so that we can take this ship apart and be done with it. Because this one, honestly, was for the money. <laughs> Shocking, I know. Good old-fashioned greed. There we go. Nice. Nice. Good deal. And that can go in there. Sweet. That goes to the barge. Come on up. Come on up. Chuck that in there. Nice. We may hit a salvage goal here in just a second. Is that free? No. That's still attached. Oh, I see where it's attached. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. How about this piece? Is it still attached? I don't think it is. No. Good, 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 good. Yeah, that'll get us a salvage goal as soon as it pulls free. What was... Oh, no! Is that... That wasn't supposed to go in there. Darn it! Hey, but we got the salvage goal. Cool! All right. What is that? Processor. Really? Oh, okay. Well? Let's just chuck it in there, then. 
No, wait a minute, what? What is that? Barge, what is that? Radiation filter, oh, 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 oh. We just found one of those by accident. Whoops. Oh, that means we probably chucked those in the, uh, oh, we threw those away last time. Except that's not coming out. Why not? Oh, crud. I don't remember what he said on how to get those out. Um, huh. That one's no good, right? Yeah, furnace. Good. Chuck you in there. Material accepted. Credits assigned. You know what? Let's go ahead and clean this stuff out of there. Then we'll go figure out how to get that filter out. Okay, let's go on inside. Oh, I thought I was going to have a clear path in through there. I am not. All right, fine. Let's uh, drag this out. And chuck that to the barge. Now we got a clear path. Get back in here and figure this out. Radiation filter, there's processor. So what do I got to do to get this crap? I don't remember access panel. So I got to pull this access panel, which means I got to get those out of here. All right, so let's go ahead and grab a fuel. And you know what? We'll go ahead and grab the other fuel, even though it's not doing anything for us. Don't need it right now. What I do need is oxygen. Is there another oxygen bottle in here somewhere? I don't remember. That's more fuel. Don't need fuel. I need oxygen. We use up all the oxygen? Looks like we did. Well, that stinks. All right, well, let's go back and fill up our air tanks. And then we'll come back and see about getting that panel off. That is the radiation filter, and it does go to the barge. But it doesn't pull out. And I don't want to run into it. So let's go ahead and turn that off and come through here. All right, access panel, huh? Am I supposed to pull that off? Yeah, apparently I am. Now, did that free that thing up on the other side or That is not coming off. Why is that not coming off? Is it because of that? No. All right, did that unlock it on the other side, maybe? Because that panel's not coming off. No. So that panel's got to come off. All right, well, we got a salvage goal, so we got something out of today. Means we probably made money. Somehow that panel's got to come off. Uh, all right, somehow this has to come off, and it's trying. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, we got it. We got that. Now what? Now I don't know what. I'm back to trying to get it outside because there's no way we're getting it out from the inside. Not like this. So... Here's hoping that all we needed to do was pull that panel. No. It removes from the inside. 
Oh, no. That whole panel goes to the processor, but that's got to come out and go to the barge. Great. Just great. But wait a minute, does that whole housing come off? That whole... Wait a minute, what? Does that... Oh, no, am I supposed to cut that ring out? Oh, this ought to be fun. Is that what I was supposed to do? It is. <laughs> okay, well, live and learn. So now we're going to get a fair distance away from this. And we are going to... Yep, there it is. Throw that nice and easy down there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got it. I'd better have made it to the barge, right? Yeah, it's going to make the barge. Cool deal. Woo. One minute left, Cutter. If you got something cooking. Radiation the filter the on the thing. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, Weaver. Weaver. Weaver? All righty. Well, let's just... Start cutting stuff till a uh, timer runs out. Three million. Yeah. Oh, 20 links tokens. Yeah, we're not going to be able to upgrade anything, but darn it, that was a good shift. We figured out the radiation filter. I, I honestly don't remember if there was one of those on the previous ship or not. I don't recall seeing one, but actually I have a hard time believing there was one because we would have been dinged for it, but whatever. The question is, now that we have successfully managed to salvage a radiation filter, what's Rhodes going to do now? And I guess it's time to find out. Nothing. Really? All right. Well, I know we don't have enough Lynx tokens to upgrade anything, but I'm guessing we got equipment to fix. No, not really. Thrusters, yeah, we should probably fix those. Oh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and fix everything. What the heck? And then, yeah, I was wondering if maybe durability on the thrusters, but not, not enough tokens. Off to work. Okay, start chucking things. Actually, no, we got some more cutting to do. We got some things to cut off the fuselage here, this waste recycling thing. We need to get rid of that, or at least free it up to be gotten rid of. And then, We'll cut the uh, we'll cut the rest of the fuselage loose. So we... Ooh, what is this? Credit drive. Credit drive? Oh, well, apparently there's an achievement for that. Okay, cool. Did we get more money? That would be nice. That'd be really nice, actually. I'd be quite thrilled with that. Okay, that should have us most, if not all, the way down the ship. So let's start chucking stuff to the processor so we can start peeling the rest of this stuff off the ship. Ooh, that's a big puppy and heavy. What? No, it's just big. Okay, so that goes to the barge. Yeah, we're cooking along with gas here. Just ripping right through this stuff. Working our way straight down the, the hull. Oh, everything going fairly nicely and orderly. Yeah, there we go. Other than not figuring out how to get that stupid filter out, this is going pretty good today. And that goes, it still amazes me that that goes to the process. Oh, wait, is that? Uh, uh-oh, uh-oh, what happened? This is not coming free, why not? Is it in two pieces? Oh, apparently it is. Oh, okay, I thought that was a one-piece unit. 
I see. All right. All right. All right. I, I feel better for you. Have a nice trip. Oh, there's the power generator. I almost forgot. Hey, another salvage goal. Cool. And that's the power generator. Did we find the fuses? I don't remember if we found the fuses. I don't remember going and looking for the fuses. Oh, we should do that. <laughs> that's kind of important. Whoa. Yeah. Um, hmm. Oh, boy, did I almost screw that up. It got to be around here somewhere. Up, oh, there's one. There's two. Ha ha. All right. All right. Five minutes left, sir. One, two, three. Ah, two. Got that one. Cool. One, one, two, three. Got it. Nice. Collect that. Nice. Now, where's the other one? Where's the other one? There it is. I see it blinking. Yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. Cool deal. All right. Time this out. Two, three. Got it. And we didn't get fried this time like we did the first time. Yeah, they just, each one goes faster and faster every time you, uh, you pull a fuse. So be, be aware, <laughs> be advised. All right, so now we can pull this, which is awesome. Come on, come on, to the barge with you. that gonna work yeah that's gonna work cool air oh we're close well that's one nice thing about having super large ships in the bay or can be depending on you know which end you're working on still got to cut everything back so we can get the reactor out of here oh yeah and we got to get the back off of this first before we take the rest of it apart so Let's do the engines, just like we did last time. We take the engines. Why? Oh, no! There's not a power... Po oh, God. We're screwed. Oh, no. Oh, what is that? A dampener. All right, I'll take it. Oh, no. I can't disconnect the engines. And if we cut those lines with those open, we're going to blow it. Oh, fantastic. Crap. I thought there was going to be a power pack left on this thing somewhere. Oh, do. You got about one minute till the yard goes dark, Cutter. Yeah, we're going to call this a shift, and I'm going to go in and think this one over, because I messed this up. Hey, we got five million on that shift. Nice. Very, very nice. Oh, and we ranked up. Uh-oh. I wonder what that's going to mean. Ooh. I'm guessing this is going to be... No, that's not where I wanted to go. I want to get... Dang it. Terminal. There we go. 52, it's Hal. Uh-oh. Let's talk. You know, in a lot of ways, you and I are the same. Not even Ace close, Murray, pal. Hard worker, doing the real grunt work. Right. You could be wearing my uniform someday, making decisions. Right. That's a precious opportunity, you know. And it's hard. Harder than shipbreaking, to be honest. Uh-huh. You know? 
In this position, you gotta make the tough calls. Where are you going with this? You're gonna hurt people. You're gonna make them angry, sad, scared, even cry. But you gotta do it. It's the job. One bad move, and boom! Right back down to where you came from. But yeah, I like you. You're not uh -huh. a troublemaker. Troublemakers spoil everything. Right. Let them. Keep doing what you're doing. And don't let them spoil you, 52. Stay on the straight what? and narrow. And I'll be sure to mention you in my final report. See you around, chum. Chum? I am not your chum, buddy. <laughs> well, that was not what I expected from Rhodes. Okay, oh, we got a new ship, the Heavy Gecko, or Gecko Heavy Cargo. Uh, Klein Corporation, President of Marketing, Klein Corporation. I first of all want to thank former <laughs> Shasta DeLuise for all the hard work and wish them luck in their future endeavors. Now to address concerns, this model is designed to fail after a certain amount of use. We want to do what's best for the customer and believe that encouraging them to upgrade to the newer model is in their interest. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> oh, 40 links tokens. We should be able to upgrade something. Let's go see what we get. Oh, and a new sticker for reaching rank 15. Yay. All righty, so what do we got? Eh, gear's still in good shape. Um, what do we need to prioritize? I don't know. The suit, heat, and electrical we can do. Range and range. Not a lot. Oh, here we go. More speed or more braking or fuel capacity. That's not really an issue. Durability. I was thinking about that before. Now I'm thinking more speed. You know what? I think that is what we're going to do. Get back and forth in the yard a little quicker. Yeah. All right. Off to work. I'm guessing what we're going to have to do is cut everything away, then cut those pipes out of the way and pull the reactor out the hard way because it's going to melt down fast instead of that slow, semi-controlled way that you get if you do everything correctly. So, I'm guessing that's the way we're going to have to do this. All right, we'll try it. I mean, worst thing that happens is we blow up the reactor and the ship, and let's get everything off of it we can first. All right, so we're back as far as the reactor. All that stuff is attached, though. I don't. Uh, oh, my God, I royally screwed this up. Uh, those back panels, the, the three sections for the back, one for each motor, they go all the way back to somewhere around here, I think. Ah, oh, jeez. Hey, a salvage goal! No, a sticker. We got a sticker. Ooh, for nacelles. Okay. And I also had a thought. An interesting thought. That's free, right? Yes. Cool. So we'll chuck that in there. And then, because the idea I had is if we can clean out the fuselage or the, the inner hull going backwards we may be able to get far enough. Well, no, actually that doesn't work because the ECU room is somewhere right around here, which won't get us far enough back. Oh, hey, we did get the salvage goal. Yay. That still doesn't get us far enough back. Doggone it. I thought I had it solved. Darn it. So, Is that still attached? I don't know. Is that still attached? No. Oh, well. Let's try pulling that back out of the way. 
Oh, we may be... That idea may not be half bad. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Hey, hey. That cockamamie idea just might have some merit. You go in there, and then, whoops, uh oh, you're not, yeah, you're, you're disconnected, okay, fine, send you in there, goodbye, and then, what is that? Radiation can tell, oh, there's another filter, the last gecko didn't have these. Oh, there's another radiation filter. Oh. Oh, ho. All right. Um, hmm. All right, so we play that game again. Here we go. Chuck you in there. Goodbye. And then... Oh, that's the axis. Do I got to pull that? Oh, we're almost out of air. Let's go get air. All right, so apparently this is the access panel here. Not inside. Oh. Okay. You go over there, and then we got to cut that loose very carefully. Good, I'm glad to hear it. Okay, now then. Come on out. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Come on. You're going to make it to the barge? Can I pop this? Apparently I can. Cool. I didn't do it last time, but apparently I could have. Sweet. Very sweet. Okay, so we are all the way back to the reactor, and this all goes with that. So if I cut this apart, all that's got to pull backwards. The ECU is there. There's no way to get the... Oh, crap. I've got to get those back housings off to be able to do this. But I can't do that because the motors are installed. So, shoot. Can I break, can I cut the lines to the motors? Oh man, I don't know. We can't get to the reactor without taking these back housings off. And we can't take the back housings off without disconnecting the motors. But we can't disconnect the motors because we pulled all the power. One minute left on the clock. Great. Well, shoot. I got a feeling we're about to blow up the rest of the ship. Salvage registered. All right, so I think what the plan is going to be on the next shift. I'm going to try and clean out the inside of the fusel, the inside of the compartment. And then we'll come back on camera and see what we can do with the back half of the ship. Hello, ship breaker. Please enjoy this inspirational message. The last 10% of a job takes as much energy as the first 90%, which is why it's so important to always give 110%. 
That is the dumbest logic there is. Okay, so a couple of profitable shifts later, we have like a hundred something Lynx tokens. So we are going to repair and upgrade. Oh yeah, definitely repairing. Well, I guess that settled it. We want the durability drain on the thrusters now that we're going a lot faster. So we'll take that and then range Strength, strength of tethers, tether amount, tether lifetime. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. We want to look at cooldown and durability. Cooldown we don't get, right? That's heat capacity, right? Cooldown we've maxed out. So heat capacity, we can't get more of that till next uh, certificate thingy, whatever they call that. So I guess we're going for durability. And that's going to be all we get. All right, to work. Okay, so we got the inside of the ship, other than the control rooms in the back for the reactor, done. They're cleared out. Had a whole bunch of stuff that came loose, you know, because, you know, we cut the wall supports out. You know, minor details. Now. If we cut those things off, we should be able to cut the back quarter things loose and pull those here, I think. What I'm hoping is the fuel tanks are disconnected, but I guess we find that out shortly, huh? Gotta try something. And this is the least dangerous thing I can think of. Because everything else puts us inside the hull, which is, well, no escape. We're dead if anything goes wrong. At least from here, we can maybe run towards the hab and survive if the reactor goes off. But um, we'll find out. So far, it's looking positive. Yeah. All right, let's get these to the processor. Okay, now for the iffy part of this whole cockamamie plan. <sighs> Here we go. Oh. Okay, I think we're okay. I think we're still okay. I think we're still okay. I hope we're still okay. All right, now we go back outside and see if we can pull these to the back without blowing everything up. All right, so. If this works, we are mostly golden. If it doesn't, well, <laughs> time to pull out a spare. Is that moving? I can't tell if that's moving. It is moving. Slowly. Very, very slowly, which at the moment is probably a good thing. While we're waiting for that to move, we'll chuck that over there. And it didn't blow up the fuel tank. Oh, thank God. And it's free of the motor. Oh, oh, this cockamamie plan worked. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, let's get the rest of these back to the wall here. 
pull that one as straight back as possible. Oh my goodness, would you look at this? A plan comes together. Thank God. It worked. Holy cow. Ha! Will color me massively and delightfully surprised and hoping to stay out of the furnace. Pull that one over here. Like so. Oh my goodness, would you look at how pretty that is coming apart. Oh yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay, so we need to get this thing out of there. Let's just lower that down. Very carefully. Got about five minutes left in this All right, so we're going to be doing an, another board. shift on this we because, run. well, maybe not. We are, where are we here? We are fully clear of all that. So what I need to do is pull the ECU coolant tanks uh, actually, you know what? We probably want to pop that housing. Let's do that right now. Top and bottom, because there's two pieces to it. Yeah. So we'll get that one. Did we get it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get over it. I hate that computer. If you burn it up, it says you did something wrong, but if you don't burn it up, you can't do your job. Make up my mind. And... Yep, got that one, cool. Oh, I was paying attention. Thank you very much. It's kind of like, you know, the parent that's always telling their kids, you know, hey, look both ways before you cross the street. And I can see the mom running into the emergency room now going, Johnny, Johnny, didn't you? Oh, yeah, Ma, I looked. I saw him coming. Warning. Oxygen low. Oh, that well. Oxygen can be reduced through good breathing practices. Yeah, I'm sure. We may not make money on this shift. I'm not sure. Piece by piece, we're working our way into the reactor. So I'm thinking we should be able to pull the tanks. I hope I'm able to. There's one. Two. Let's go ahead and grab these while we can. And we'll grab that one. That's making an ominous noise. I don't like ominous noises. All right, let's, uh, where's the other tank? There it is. We did not initiate a meltdown. Cool. That is good news. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So that's a positive. That's a positive. I like positives. Positives are good, right? Now the question is, can we get this done in a minute and a half? And I'm not certain that we can. So, you know what? I think we're going to come back for one more shift on this puppy. Okay, completely skipped all the stuff inside because, well, there was no point. We have one goal today, and that is to get the reactor out of here. And I think there is one thing I want to do before we do that. I want to get this out of the way. 
Whoa, whoa. There we go. I want to get it away from the reactor so we can, like, grab it if we need to from whatever direction and get it the heck out of there. So, we have no choice at this point but to cut all these pipes. And as soon as we do, it's going to start a rather fast meltdown because we didn't turn the motors off before I pulled the power. So, what we want to do is melt, the, is burn out that, and then pull that down, pull the panels off, and yank the reactor out. And we got to do it fast. So, okay, here we go. Oh! Nope. And we lived? What? Maybe? Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, lots of them. Ow. Son of a... Dang it! Well, I wonder what the correct way to do that actually was then, because that sure wasn't it. Dang it. All right, well. Dang it. We lost the motors, we lost the reactor, we lost the ECU, we lost... Uh... All right, well, I'm going to clean this up and call it a day. Um, yeah, leprechaun distractions I would love to blame, but I don't think I can do that. I think this one's on me. Well, six one abs the other. I want to thank you for spending your time with us here today at the Chartreuse Leprechaun. We do appreciate it, as always. Hit that like button, subscribe, set yourself up for notifications, all that wonderful stuff so you don't miss anything around here. And remember, the leprechaun's out there, and he's going to mess it up for you, for me, for everyone, everywhere, all the time, every chance he gets, because, you know, that's what he does. So just remember that if you see it, and you can't quite explain it, you can be positive the leprechaun did it. Now you have yourselves a great day, a great week, and we will see you here next time on The Chartreuse Leprechaun. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.